Hello, I'm Nikki and welcome back to my channel, Wig Friends. Today I'm bringing you a very special wig reveal. It is the same wig in two different colors. Not only that, but I'm giving one of them away. It has been a while since I've done a giveaway and I thought, what better time than now? And the details on how you can win her will be told at the end of the video when I'm showing you her inside cap construction. Basically, what I'll be doing is telling you a little bit about the one I've got on now and then swapping them out. You can also say that a different setup going on today. I normally film downstairs in my basement, but I couldn't do that today. And I figured let's do it in front of my wig collection. So let me show you here quick. These are basically all the wigs that I have to review yet. It goes all the way down to the floor. And plus there's another shelf that's over that is full as well. That's a lot of wigs. So you need to join my party and click that subscribe button. If you already have, thank you so, so much. I upload every Monday, Thursday, and Friday, but hello. I do surprise ones too. I don't want you to miss either. And please go in the comments and tell me your thoughts on this wig. And you can let me know too if there's one you'd like me to review. So let's get started. And I have got Janet Collections Junie. She's a lace front. And the color I'm wearing now is DR2 Sunflower Blonde. The other color I will be showing you is DR2 Natural Brown, which is this one right here. And she comes in... Quite a few colors and really pretty ones at that. Love the color selection. She has an extremely deep part, is heat safe up to 360 degrees Fahrenheit, and I scooped them both up from wig types for $24.94 each. She is basically a longer version of June. And when I mean a longer version, I gotta back up here. Sorry, it's just the way my setup is here. But she comes down to my waist. So I'm thinking 32 inches. I think this is the longest wig I actually have. And June is one of my favorite wigs. And that's pretty much probably why I jumped on this opportunity to pick her up and probably got her in two colors of that. And I love this color. It is gorgeous. It's pretty much similar to a DR27613 because you do have a number two root and it does go throughout. And then you have some lighter tone of 613 with a little bit of the darker yellow one, yellow shade. It is pretty. It's very bright, just like a sunflower. It's gorgeous. And you can see she does have some good luster. It's not bad. It looks pretty natural to me. And her texture, oh. I could just touch this all day. It's so super soft and it is light yakky. It does feel pretty realistic. I'm in love with this texture. <laughs> and she does have these layers here you can see just like June did. I just find that to be kind of sweet and really good density especially for her length. It is really good. So I'm going to turn around so you can see what she looks like from the back. movement is good too and what I'm going to do is show you her parting space and then I'm going to swap them out Let's see here I didn't have to pluck anything it's an extremely deep part for sure it's a really good one actually and it does lay pretty darn flat this is an easy one for blending, and you can probably just add some of your own baby hairs if you want. Unfortunately, she doesn't come with any. So this is DR2 Sunflower Blonde. I'm going to uh, go swap out now. I will be right back. And I'm back with a wig change. I now have on a DR2 Natural Brown, and this color, Lord have mercy, this color, it is simply breathtaking. You still have the number two root. And look how beautifully it melts down into the natural brown, which I'm guessing is a tone of 30. And then you've got the two in the under layer with the brown mixed in. You can also kind of see it in that swirl of a curl there. It's really gorgeous. And I'm really liking this luster. It looks nice. Darn good. And texture is the same, only difference is I'm noticing a little bit more silkiness in this unit than I did the last one. So just take note of that. And it looks to me like the curls can vary a little bit, but that's only because they wrap them up in these doohickeys here. So it just depends on how well it wants to hold. And it looks really nice though. 
happens you like it and she is soft as a baby's bottom as smooth as butter look at this so easy around my fingers through her like I'm not getting really any tangles just a couple here and there and it was the same with the last color so really easy to maintain and I usually try to avoid the really long wigs because they do tangle more usually and will get ratty in the ends, especially when it's more straight. But I don't think that's going to be a problem with this unit at all. So I think she might actually be a good work wig if you like really long hair. And let me show you what she looks like from the back. Really nice. Parting space is the same, but I'm still going to show you. Uh, but first, this is the color of the lace, so you know what the shade is. And still lays flat. Didn't have to pluck anything. It's good. Here's your sides. I pulled out a little bit of my own baby hair there. But you don't have too bad a lift up. And it comes out to where it should, I think. I do actually wish she had a little bit of baby hair right here, but it's not a deal break or anything like that. You can always make your own and it's more of a personal preference. So let me show you her inside cap and the only difference between the two is the coloring of the lining. In the one I'm wearing it's black. Otherwise it's the same. You can see here it is pretty breathable but once again you got those big gaps in there so just be careful you don't snag it. Here's her parting space. She's got one comb on each side up here towards the top. And then she also has a comb here in the back. And then, of course, her adjustable straps are back here, too. And both units were really comfortable. Medium sized wig cap. However, I do see some stretchability in there, enough so that I would think that she's also larger head friendly. And honestly, I don't know which one I like better. They're both so gorgeous. And the thing with the giveaway now, I'll tell you, is I don't know which one I'm going to give away. So if you don't mind getting either or, you kind of get a surprise that way, then this is the right giveaway for you. And all you need to do are a couple of things. One, be a current subscriber. Two, live in the United States. And three, Drop me a line in the comments. Be positive, though. And just so you know, the only reason why I require the United States rule is because of shipping costs. So that's the only reason for that. But I will pick one winner at random one week from the date of this upload. So good luck to everybody. I can't wait to send you a nice little present in the mail. So that's all I got for today. Thank you so very much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Till then. Bye-bye.